Hey, uh, Chris Carpenter here, RocketBrandStudios.com. Screw counting machine update video. Uh, got the frame painted and welded and painted and stuff. Um, okay, currently for the testing, where I'm just using one hopper to dispense, um, but it's proof of concept. So if one hopper works, um, 16 will work. So um, let's just get into it here. Here's my main display. I can select what hardware kit I want, sensor kit, tail wheel, tadpole kit, etc. Um, these discs represent the, uh, the hoppers dispensing. You can see they're all white because nothing's dispensing. They have a little animation when they go. Um, these will be start and stop buttons eventually. And uh, let's go. So I have a temporary start button here. You can see See, the, the one on the far left is blinking, number number zero. You can see... Oh, okay, wait, oh, okay, all right. So here you can see... Counting out the screws, okay? And they go down into there. And they come out here. Now, if you wait for it... Okay, so there's 10. Oh, that was 10. And we index to the next cup. And then we'll dispense another one. Now, again, normally, you know, all 16 hoppers would be running right now, or 4 of 16 or 5 of 16, or whatever is needed for that particular hardware bag. And um, each hopper gets told how many to dispense via the main brain at, at startup. So... You know, the first hopper will spit out 10 of something, the next one will spit out 10 of something, the next one will spit out 4 or something, you know, etc., etc. And um, all of those parts would be dropping out simultaneously. That's um, 3D printed with just a little quick bit of sanding and a little bit of paint. Um, there's another 3D printed elbow. You can actually see... The print went a little funny, and there's some flat corners. You can see there's a screw caught right there. Um, I'm just going to spooge those with a little Bondo and just smooth them out, and this aluminum foil tape will be fiberglass eventually. And then, of course, if there were eight hoppers above, that funnel just simply feeds into that funnel and out. So we're getting close. we got eight more, and then we'll get to the good stuff here. Now... Currently, each of these discs can be set, so I can, sorry, the, I got the dryer running, and now the boiler just kicked on, it's going to get loud. Um, focus. Um, so, in theory, I can do uh, three discs of three different hardware kits, so I can do 16 of one, 16 of another, 16 of a third, or just one disc, or any combination. So I can do 48 of something, I can do... 16, 16, 16, or 32, 16, you know, just about oh, whatever. And as you can see, there's, you know, same number of screws in each cup, right? Well, except for that first one when I forgot to turn the motors on. Okay, so we got three more here. Let me, let me back up and see the whole darn thing. Okay. Come on, baby. Focus, please. Okay, there we go. Are you going to stay while I back up? Okay, I think this might be the last one. There we go. That was the last cup. And so now we just simply index to the next disc. Please hit the cup. Please hit the cup. Thank you. And we start on the next disc. So there's the 10, we index to the next cup, and on we go. <laughs> Good girl. So, um, so there you go. We are uh, counting out screws. How about that? Now, um, I actually had a revelation last night that I could get some... Uh, 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 the, the 
the plastic bags you seal with a heat sealer thingy. And I think I can do it like sausage. Right where, right where that exit tube is. Instead of a bent nozzle, just continue the tube out, but smaller, inch diameter or something. And then run the, the bags in a continuous tube over there like you're doing sausage, right? And then a it, would, it would crimp it and seal it, advance a little out, dump the screws into the bag, crimp it, and then another one. So you'd have a, a whole chain sealed in between each bag, or actually double sealed so you cut them apart. And I think that I can maybe even avoid having to pull the cups out and dump them into Ziploc by hand, which would be pretty gosh darn kind of cool if you ask me so um the hopper knows it's stuck and will unstick itself and it works really really well and um and something just went weird i don't know what so we'll stop this video and see what i have to recode